Hi, my name is Stephen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a weekly, monthly, or yearly subscription using PayPal. And then I'm also going to show you how you can add it on your WordPress website. So you can see over here that I have this demo website for yoga classes. You can see here that I have different type of classes that you can register for. So over here, you can see that I have two ways you can add this PayPal button to your website. So the first one is by embedding it on your website and once you embed it on your website it will look like this and then the second one is by adding a button on your website and then adding the paper link to that button so let me show you an example here so this one here is the paper link if you click on it it's going to open a page like this where your customer can log into their paper account and subscribe to that particular class that they selected or they can also click on pay with credit card to fill in their credit card information instead of logging into the paper account and then the other way is by clicking on this embed button here so if you you use the embed button once they click on it it's just going to open a pop-up on the same page instead of opening a new page so from this page they can log into their paper account to subscribe or they can just use the credit card option as well so you have that two option regardless of whether you embed the code or you use the link so the only advantage of using the embed code is that your customer is going to stay on your website they're not going to go to another link to complete the payment and once they finish here they can go ahead and close this by clicking on this button and you can see that they are still on your website so with that out of the way let me go ahead and show you how you can set this up and how you can add it on your website so the first thing you need to do is to go to paypal and once you're on this page you can go ahead and log into your paypal account if you don't have a paypal account yet you can go ahead and create one but you need to make sure that you are creating a business account because this is not going to work with the personal account so if you want to sign up for a paypal account you need to click on sign up and then over here you have the option to select personal or business account so go ahead and sign up for business account go ahead and fill in all your information here is very easy to do so i'm going to click on this paper here and go back to the home page then i'll click on sign in and sign into my paper account so i've gone ahead and log into my business paper account once you log into your account you're going to land on this dashboard right here all you need to do is to head over here and click on pay and get paid and then from here go ahead and click on subscriptions over here and then once you create the subscription if someone subscribed to your service this is where you are going to see all the subscriptions and then this is going to be your subscription plan and this is where you are going to grade all the subscriptions over here you can see that i have two subscriptions here for the examples that i was showing you guys earlier let's go ahead and grade one subscription plan so you can see how easy it is to grade the subscription plans so go ahead and click on grade a plan so over here is going to ask you to select one of the products that you already graded in your case you are not going to have any subscription product so basically you have to grade a subscription product first so what you need to do is in your case is going to ask you to grade a subscription product I already have two subscription products here so I'm going to create a new subscription product to walk you through the process so go ahead and click on create a subscription product and then from here you are going to give your product a name so let's go over here and copy the name of uh, one of these uh, yoga classes that we have here so this one is mind and so so head over here and paste your product name here and then product description I'll go here and copy the description as well then paste that over here and then from here you can give your product an ID I will just give this one 001 you can give your product any id that you want and then for the type of product you can choose whether this is a physical product or digital product or just a service in this case we are creating a service so go ahead and select this services option and then from here you can choose your industry category so go ahead and choose any industry category that apply to what you are offering over here i'll just go ahead and choose a random one i'll choose maybe consulting services and here you can post the product url so this is basically where your client can find the product on your website so in this case is going to be this yoga classes page so go ahead and copy the url for this page then go back here and paste that url over here and then if you have a product image url you can paste that in here but if not go ahead and leave that blank and click on next so we got an error message here for the product id it said that it has to be at least more than five characters so i'm going to go ahead and add three more zeros here and then go ahead and click on next okay so now you can see that we now have three product subscriptions you can create as many product subscription as you want for all your classes you can create one for all your yoga classes or whichever services that you are providing then go ahead and select the one that you want to create a subscription for in this case i will select this mind and so which is one that i just created now and then click on next here you have four type of subscription plans that you can choose from but in this tutorial i'm going to be focusing on the fixed pricing so this is a situation where you charge your customer a specific amount every single month or every year or every week all the subscription types they have here do have a description 
description so if you want to find out what these subscription plans are you can put your mouse over this icon here and then you're going to see more details and the example on how you can use this type of subscription plan so go ahead and select this fixed pricing and click on next then go ahead and give your plan a name and give it a description as well i'll go ahead and copy this uh, name again and paste it here i will also copy the description as well and paste it here then go ahead and click on next then from here you can define the pricing for your subscription plan you can choose how you want your customer to pay you can choose the currency that you want them to pay in here so this is all the currency that they have available in this case i'm going to choose canadian dollar and then if you want to charge a one-time set of fee go ahead and select this option and put the amount that you want to charge for set of fees so this is going to be a one-time fee that you're going to charge when your customer is setting up for the first time but if you don't want to charge that go ahead and leave this unticked and then if you want to offer a free trial go ahead and check this box put the price that you want to charge for your free trial or maybe it wants it to be zero dollars you can put zero dollars here and then you can choose how many days you want to offer this free trial for maybe for a few days or maybe for one week you can change this to weeks months year maybe i want to offer this for one week i will change this to weeks and then the cycle is just going to be one cycle if you change this to two then it's going to be two cycle but i'll leave it on one so this is going to be one cycle and it's going to be zero dollars and if you want to add another trial period you can also add another trial period here so you can only have two trial period then after that they will have to subscribe to the actual subscription and if you want to remove any of these trial periods that you have here you can click on this x here to remove it and then the actual subscription plan is how much maybe you are charging 50 dollars every single month or maybe every two weeks or every one week you can change this number to whatever you want or maybe every three weeks so for this tutorial i will change this to month i will go with one month so every month i will charge the customer 50 dollars and then the cycle here is going to be unlimited because this is a monthly subscription right and then if it's just a limited cycle you can and select this one that will give you the option to change the cycle maybe if you have a contract with the customer for three months or four months you can change this to four cycles but if you want it to be unlimited cycle until your customer cancels you have to go with this unlimited blend cycle here so that way the subscription will be ongoing until your customer cancels and then from here you can choose whether you want to include the tax in the price and then you can choose how many percent maybe let's say 12 percent for example that will be included in this price or maybe you want to add tax to the price you select this option add tax to the price and then it's going to add 12 percent of this 50 dollars to the total price or maybe you don't want to calculate tax then you select this don't calculate tax option and then from here you can select the mixed billing cycle before the subscription will be paused so let's say if your customer mixed one billing cycle do you want the subscription to be paused they will not get access to that product anymore or maybe if they miss two billing cycle but i'll leave this on one for now or you can even put zero here if you don't want them to miss any billing cycle so since you have one missed billing billing cycle here you want to turn this on so that paper will bill your customer for the outstanding payments that is going to include the missed billing cycle and the current billing cycle so that's what this is for you can go ahead and click on next and then from here you can go ahead and look at all the information that you have entered if you see anything that you want to change maybe you want to update something you can click on this update button to update that but if everything is looking good you can go ahead and click on turn on plan or you can just save it as a draft if you save it as a draft the plan is not on yes so your customer will not be able to subscribe to that plan but if you go ahead and click on turn on plan like this now it's going to create a plan for you then from here you can copy the code to embed it on your website but let's click on do this letter so now that we have that if we go back to plans over here so this is subscription plans now you can see the new plan that we just created and this is the mind and soul plan that we created for the yoga class if you click on these three dots here you can also turn off this plan from here click on turn plan off you can see that the plan is not showing here anymore but if you go over here to inactive plan you can see the plan that we just turned off you can go ahead and turn this back on if you want click on turn on so once you are ready to add this on your website you have two options here you can either copy the embed code or you just copy the link so let's go ahead and do the embed code first go ahead and click on copy code that is going to bring you on this page right here this is where you can decide how you want to customize the paper button before you embed it on your website if you want to have this uh, vertical like this you can leave that option and then you can change this uh, to peel if you want you can also change to any of these colors that they have here the blue silver white and black 
or if you want to have this on horizontal you can click on this horizontal like this and then your button is going to look like this so i think i already have the black one here so let's copy the yellow one so you can see the difference when i embed it on the website and then from here you can choose what you want the button text to say whether to say paypal or just say subscribe so this one is going to say paypal subscribe unfortunately you don't have any custom option to type whatever you want you have to use only the options that they have here for you once you finish with your customization here go ahead and click on this copy code and then head over to your website in this tutorial i'm using the dv page builder but you can use any page builder that you want if you're using elementor breezy or you can even use the default wordpress editor all you need to do is to find the code module and then you can paste this code inside that code module so let's go ahead and click on edit with visual builder so once you're on this page all you need to do is to go ahead and embed the code anywhere that you want so that one was for this mind and so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to delete this button here and then let's go ahead and add a new module let's look for the code module type code in here so this is the code module click on that so go ahead and paste the code that we just copied once you paste the code inside the code module click on this and then over here go ahead and click on save changes unfortunately i don't know why this is not going to show in here in the editor you have to exit the visual builder before you can see the embed code so let's go here and refresh the page so once we refresh the page now you can see that this mind and so we now have this uh, paper button here that you can click on to subscribe i'm also going to go and copy the link and paste it over here or on this register button here so you can see the difference so let's go back to paper here and click on go to plans then from here click on these three dots again and copy the link this time we're just going to copy the link now go back to your website let's go to this one right here let's just use this button right here i will change the color so you guys will know the button that we're working with let me go ahead and go here you can see that the button said register we can change that to whatever we want we can change it to subscribe maybe so i've gone ahead and change the button text to subscribe and then the link let's paste the link that we just copied over here and then the button link target let's change this to open in a new tab instead of opening on this page you can just open a new tab when you click on the button and then go to design and click on buttons so let's go ahead and change this button color to red so you can see that this is the button that we are working on then close that and go ahead and click on save changes here now let's go back over here and refresh the page so now you can see that we have these two buttons here so you can choose to have this embedded on your website like this or you can just add it as a link like this so whichever one you choose you will have to go with that one you don't want to use both of them you don't want to embed some and then add some link so it's either you use the link option or you just use the embed option so now let me go ahead and log out of this paper account so that we can test this out so go back here and click on this um subscribe button here so now you can see it's going to pop up a PayPal window like this where your customer can put in their details and log into their PayPal account or they can just click on pay with credit card or Visa card to pay with their credit card or Visa card. So this is how you can use the embed button and then the link option is going to open a new link. So once you click on this button, it's going to open a new page like this. So from here, your customer can also log into their PayPal account to pay or they can also use the credit card or debit card option. So this is pretty much how you can create a subscription for your services and then embed it on your website or just use the paypal link if this video was helpful one way or the other please like this video so that more people can see it and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified when i upload a video thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye bye